traffic gridlock in the serene northern Baltimore County countryside. Residents, visitors, and commuters find it beyond frustrating. This has had a really huge impact on local traffic and commute times. Um, every day up at York Road and Shawan, up through that area, paper mill. Here's the culprit. The Warren Road Bridge that crosses the Lock Raven Reservoir closed for emergency repairs. Thousands of motorists, including school bus drivers, use it daily. With that being cut off, it's added 20 to 30 minutes of drive time each morning. Either way, no matter what direction we go, traffic is congested. It's just a real big pain, and it's extremely inconvenient. How bad is the problem? And they haven't told us what the nature of the problem is, how severe it is, how extensive the repair is going to be. The 93-year-old Iron Lady is old and rusty. We saw plenty of it looking underneath the bridge. In March, Baltimore City, which owns it, abruptly ordered it close, but didn't explain why. What's wrong with the bridge? How dangerous is it to cross at this moment? The stringer beams that directly support the deck have corroded to the point where they cannot safely support vehicular loads anymore. This close-up view of the problem comes from the March 2016 Warren Road Bridge Inspection Report. It's, it's what we call 100% section loss. In this particular case, they, they recommend that the heavily deteriorated stringers be replaced immediately. Scott Weaver is the chief bridge engineer for the City Department of Transportation. He says the structure must be inspected every two years as mandated by the Federal Highway Administration. Is that often enough? Weaver says yes. Was there anything in the previous inspection reports that point to a potential problem, something to keep an eye on? They noted that there was some corrosion, but it hadn't, it hadn't gone to the point yet where it would have affected the structural capacity. This has an open grid steel deck, much like a drawbridge. So all the rain that falls, the salt, the snow, everything gets right on top of those stringers, right on top of those beams, and it sits there. The last time stringer beams were replaced was back in the mid-90s. They are 21 feet long and weigh just over a half ton each. They aren't in stock, they're on order. And because the bridge is 60 feet above the reservoir, replacing them will be a challenge. Environmental concerns rule out working from a barge. So the contractors will use rollers, just like the Egyptians when they built the Great Pyramids. Meanwhile, residents feel they've been kept in the dark. We want to know when we can use that road again. We want the whole project to be done um, before the new school year, so we're looking at uh, mid-August. How much will it cost and where will the funding come from? Approximately $800,000. The city will foot 60% of the bill, the county 40. And until the work is actually completed, residents will be inconvenienced. For the 11 News I team, I'm David Collins. And you can see all of the 11 News I team investigations on your mobile device. Just download the WBAL TV app from either Google Play or iTunes.